Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my program. I appreciate you wherever you are connecting from. If you are joining me from any part of the world, I thank you very much for your contributions on this channel. Please kindly subscribe if you have not subscribed and also click the notification bell so that you will be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. In this channel, I bring information to your doorstep. I bring news from all channels, from every angle. Things that have to do about the world, things that have to do about Africa, more especially Nigeria. I bring it to your doorstep. Some informations that you ignore, some information that you cannot be able to come across. I look for them, I bring it to your doorstep for you to see. Every video you see on this channel is for educational purpose, to keep you up and get you aware of what is happening in the contraption called Nigeria, more especially. I bring the information to your doorstep. They are not lies. Most of the videos you're going to watch here are videos that are coming from the conventional media. And some of us sometimes are lazy to get into it. Some of us are, sometimes are too busy to be able to lay our hand on this. That is why I bring the videos to your doorstep. Watch from beginning to the end. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes so that you can be educated and know what is going on. Let us watch together. At the end, you can go to the comment section and put down your comments. Give your opinion. Say it the way you feel it. Nobody's going to come against you. It's a free world, and this is the social media where people say it and set the record straight exactly the way it is without being controlled. Do that on the comment section. Let us watch the video together as it comes. Thank you. Well, Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmad Gumi was trending after stating during an interview that the Naira redesign policy by the Central Bank of Nigeria will make kidnappers resort to dollars for ransom. Gumi also stated that the new policy will cast economic woes and will result in a cash crunch for its citizens, which will in turn affect 80% of Nigerians, especially rural people who depend on cash transactions, and that what Nigeria needs is a free market-driven economy with minimal cash flow control. Gumi, in responding to one of the reasons the CBN gave for introducing the redesign policy, which is to starve kidnappers of cash, said that the kidnappers will only result to dollars and other hard currencies for their demands, which will further put pressure on the alien economy. His comment comes as President Mohamed Buhari on Sunday said that reasons given to him by the Central Bank of Nigeria convinced him that the economy stood to benefit from reduction of inflation, currency counterfeiting, and the excess cash in circulation. Well, let's take some reactions. This is from Igwe, who wrote... Gumi is inadvertently telling the CBN and the federal government to consider the plight of kidnappers in their quest to change the currency. This should clearly tell the security where the interest and loyalty of Gumi is. This is a huge red flag. He should be arrested immediately. Well, another user there goes. Uh, I believe this man is saying the truth here. Let this government do cashless policy. Though it's going to affect a lot of unemployed youth that base their life on only POS business, but I think that it's best not to change the Naira texture. I believe that's what this man is trying to say. Rufai, over to you. I mean, what position does Shigumi have to be saying that kidnappers will now start demanding in dollars? Does he want them to demand in dollars? I mean, the federal Wait, what do you mean? Does he want them to demand in dollars? Yeah. Well, so why is he, why is he signaling? that this will lead them to start demanding in dollars. Is that the kind of country we're running now? The federal government has made a policy to be able to mop up money in the system, inflation, yeah. So it is not for you to say kidnappers. Why advocating for the kidnappers? If you admit, oh, it will lead to a rush for dollar for people that want to use it, why, why, why must the kidnappers part be part of it? Mm. That's the question. And it's things like this that make a lot of people, you know, get pushed aback when Chegumi said, okay, yes, I want peace, I want that, I'm talking to kidnappers. Why is it always about the kidnappers and the bandits' interest here? Is it a good thing that kidnappers are even demanding dollars in the first place in this country? So why this talk about oh, it will only make kidnappers demand in dollars? Don't they even demand in dollars and euro in the first place? Is it not a good thing that we have a country that pay kidnappers? All right, Dr. Bati. Gumi expressing an opinion. As a citizen, yes, he can express an opinion. But the last time we checked, uh, what we know is that uh, Shei Gumi's area of expertise is uh, medicine. Mm. He's a medical doctor. He served in the Nigerian army, rose to the rank of a captain before becoming, you know, an Islamic uh, leader. Okay, so, but as a citizen, it's good for him 
it's okay if he has, expresses an opinion. Mm. But what I see in this is that many of the people who have been expressing an opinion one way or the other about this policy proposal by the CBA, they don't even understand what it is all about. They've not made an effort to attempt to understand it. And uh, so you've had all kinds of people speaking from all kinds of perspectives, including the Minister of Finance herself, who, you know, uh, just uh, decided uh, to uh, express an opinion, uh, you know, that has been dismissed by the CBN and has also been dismissed by the president of uh, uh, Nigeria. So you, you see a lot of ignorance at the highest levels, either in society or even uh, in government. So I think the major thing is that the communications department of the CBN probably still has a lot to do in terms of public enlightenment. We have been inviting the experts to come and ex uh, explain, but you know, they are analysts. They, they give their opinion. But the CBN probably still needs to continue to explain to the public because so many issues have been raised. It's not just enough for the uh, CBN to lay out the policy and to say this is how you go about it. Now that it has been discussed, they should take a look at some of the concerns that have been expressed. And remind people that the currency in Nigeria is in Naira. It's not dollar. Mm -hmm. Dollar is not our national currency. But the way everybody talks about dollar, 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 mm -hmm. is in itself an indication of the serious distortions uh, within the economy. You know, that, that is part of the problem. Absolutely. We'll take our final story. By highlighting... I believe that he too has some money that he has hidden on the ground that he doesn't know how to change it. That is just the truth. I know Fulani, they even used to bury money and hide them one way. They don't, they don't believe in banks, many of them. I'm, nobody knows how many billions have been buried in this our northern bush. Definitely they're going to lose money. They are going to lose money. To me, on the other hand, I'm really in support of that. The source bandits are with much narrow note in the bush and they will not know how to change it. So I think that the Nigerian government is doing the right thing in the right direction. They should change the currency. So that the people that have those excessive money that they are buried in the burying ground, they are buried in their houses, they are buried in their offices, they are buried in other places, that money will become useless. Because they are making some other people not to eat and not to cut their feet on the ground. A member of the bandit that is asking the Nigerian to push people to go and in, he should be prosecuted according to the law of the country because he doesn't have the right to tell the government what to do. He's not a president, he's not ever, he's not a to me. He, he has just a political one, government leader there around. He shouldn't come in and tell the people that this is what the people will do. Then the government should prosecute him by saying that kind of a thing. If the government leaves him, that's the, that's the action of the government. Not the people, but it should be dealt according to the law. You know, to me, he, he know where they are. In fact, I think they have arrested one of his allies, one of his friends, I think, in connection with something to do with the banding. I don't know. I, I don't care because if I'm going to be reading what is going on in this my country, I, I will not be sleeping someday because of it's, it's not it's, it's not nice. You know why 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 us? Why? So they share Gumi should stop even government should stop him from making any comments about banditry because he's not saying anything good. And it's just that Nigeria are just playing. I, I, I would say it's just a play. It's a mere play. I don't know why I should be negotiating with the bandits. I don't know why I should be negotiating with the terrorists. What we need to do is that we have the armed forces of Nigeria. So what we need to do is just saying, uh, to me, what's saying is just soliciting for the, the bandits. Because changing of our currency will even help of those people money laundering and those people that, 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 that have a lot of bulk of money in their house. So to me, it's, 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 uh, it doesn't, uh, it's a meaningless statement to me. So let's Nigeria do more at least and, and these days our our armed forces are trying in conquering the bandits so they just do more they should ignore she, uh, what, what they call his name is a uh, statement i don't think it's a good statement high time for the government to invite such person for somebody to make that kind of a statement which means because if you look at this bandit three of 18 they are most of all the people that are sponsoring them are politicians so people with high hierarchy high name I know Fulani, they even used to bury money and hide them one way. They don't, they don't believe in banks, many of them, I'm not saying, because they are the most educated people in the North, Fulani, yes. But yet they are still the, 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 the uneducated as well when it comes to all the, the ones living in the bush. Nobody knows how many billions have been buried in this our northern bush. 
definitely they're going to lose money. They are going to lose money. To me, in the other hand, I'm really in support of that. But my own pity, I'm pitying my people from the villages. I'm from the north. Many of us, we don't have bank accounts. I live in the city. Yes, I have, I have like three, four bank accounts. But in the village, they don't even believe in going. Which village? Can you find bank? They have their money in the villages. Before, before you know it, they will end up losing millions and millions. That is about to, to, to the banditry. Please, let's change this money. If people want to be African, give it to them. It is the right thing to say. The right to self-determination is sacrosanct. Nobody should be forced to be in a union that they don't want to part of. It puts us online where... Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have been educated with this video. I hope you have learned something from the video you just watched. Please go to the comment section and put down your comments. Whatever you think about the video you have watched or anything you have learned that you wanted to share together, go to the comment section and keep yourself busy. It's a free place where people share their opinion. And please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time a video comes out. And also, share the video to your family and friends. Share it to all platforms so that people can get aware of what is happening in the world, mainly in the contraption called Nigeria. We have to keep people on their toe, keep people informed on what is going on. That is exactly what we are doing. Every video you are watching in this channel is for the purpose of education and nothing more. Thank you so much for watching and remember us. Bye-bye. See you again.